to go. We be fast and they be slow. All right, everyone, this is Tim with Online Big Blue, bringing you the best in New York Giant Sports Talk Entertainment. Doing a rare Friday night show, I guess. Uh, we got the big stream coming up on Sunday at 1030 Eastern Standard Time. Doing our mock draft, the first and only mock draft. If you want to be a participant, you can. We've still got a couple spots open. You can email me at Tim at Online Big Blue. Dot com, Tim at onlinebigblue.com, and I will send you all the information. Wanted to talk about the Giants and Kadarius Tony. Evidently, there is some now scuttlebutt going around that I, I want. That's what I kind of want to talk about for a second. That uh, the Giants are looking to maybe move on from the for the first rounder, the 2021 first rounder, per Pat Leonard of the New York Daily News. Uh, evidently, Big Blue is apparently making calls with other teams, seeing what they can get for the wideout. Leonard is quoted as saying there is some initial momentum for bailing on Tony during his tumultuous rookie season a year ago. His commitment came in question behind the scenes during his rookie year due to the lack of playbook study, poor meeting behavior, and frequent injuries. The high-maintenance wide receiver hasn't shown up for any of the team's off-season programs, yet under first-year head coach Brian Dable, so the Giants are trying to move on from last year's 20th overall pick. That would be a disaster. That would be a disaster of momentous and momental proportions. It, it, it would be huge. You mean we did all that to get an extra pick this year and passed on Parsons? For Kadarius Tony, I, I said it the other day. It was very telling when the smooth sounds of Kenny G came out and said, "You know what? He needs to get his butt." In. He basically said it nicely. He's got to get his butt in here, and he was the only one that said it. Everyone else had the giant talking point. We had the great. We had a great conversation. Tough. We had the other talking points. What it was a tough, uh, tough. I forget what it was, but the other great talking point for the Giants PR department is we had a great conversation. Anyone that wasn't at a camp, excuse me, the Giants had a great conversation with him. Tony, while he has talent, I don't know if it's harnessable talent. Said this a million times before, the, the nicest thing they could say about his route running last year coming out of the draft is he was unique. Unique is not a good word to be used when you describe someone's route running. He did nothing in his first three years away at Florida. It wasn't until his fourth season, which was a COVID season, did he show any type of talent. He showed zero commitment to the team last year. Our special teams coach wouldn't even let him return punts and kickoffs. How bad is it that you are a rookie wide receiver who's supposed to be electrifying with his moves and his talent, and they won't even let you return kicks? That, I said that I said that last year, and I said that a couple of weeks back, and I said that I think three days ago. That is telling to me. If it's and also the biggest, the biggest issue, one of the other biggest issues is the fact that this is a Gettleman pick. This is a Gettleman pick. This is a judge pick. This was this is not a Shane and Dable pick. So maybe the, the, the team feels like they need to just move on and move away before you continue with a bad mistake. I, I find this interesting because of the fact that we talked about this in the past, that the Giants are moving in different directions. The Giants, what people think the Giants may be doing may not be what they're doing at all. I think there's going to be a lot of smoke screens in this draft. I think there's going to be, I think there's going to be some interest in, in a lot of different things. I think the Giants are going to go a lot of different ways. I think what people are reporting may not be at all what the Giants are going to do because I think I think this team is finding its own way and moving forward in a different direction and sometimes moving and getting away from someone like Kadarius Tony is the way to go. His he he had what 400 yards or something like that and 189 of them came in one game. And I've said this before a million times you cannot be just a jitterbug in this league. You have to be able to run routes. Because defenses will figure you out quickly. And I've said this a million times and I've seen it a million times. You can have speed, you can have moves, but what's going to happen is the defense is going to park their ass in front of you and they are going to wait for the cavalry. That's all they're going to do. If I'm, if, I'm a, if I'm a corner or am I a safety or I'm, even if I'm a linebacker, I am going to keep you in front of me doing all your moves for as long as I can while the cavalry comes from both sides. And that's going to end that quickly. That's kind of what happened towards when he, before he got injured. Plus the fact that this kid had a hamstring, an ankle, a thumb, a quad, an oblique, and a shoulder. My laundry lists aren't that big. I would be happy if they moved. It would be a big loss. Because then I'd be putting more pressure on Shane because you're really going to have to knock this draft out of the park. Because in my mind, 
you you gave up my you gave up Parsons for Toady unless you get something in this draft that's spectacular. Don't forget the big draft show coming up on sa- Sunday, 10:30 Eastern Standard Time, AM, 10:30 AM Eastern Standard Time. Got a lot to talk about. Gonna have a bunch of people on, a bunch of subscribers on, talking about the draft, talking about who the Giants picked to win the little mock draft. So it's gonna be first and only one we're gonna do. And uh, just like I said, just check out and look out for that on Sunday, 10 30 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. If you want to be a part of that live stream, email me at Tim at onlinebigblue.com. That's Tim at onlinebigblue.com. And again, this is Tim with Online Big Blue, bringing you the best in New York Giants sports talk and entertainment. And as always, if you could like, if you subscribe, bring that button here to me, that'd be awesome.